Hey everyone, hope you're all doing it very well. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at exactly how the charging process works. In fact, the best way to explain this and go through it with a live demonstration is by using not just a charger, but a power supply to be able to charge the battery pack. This is the first time that we're doing it on the channel here, and we can do this by means of this power supply that we looked at in the previous video. Video. Now, ultimately, what we're going to be able to show here is the relationship of charging lithium polymer based battery packs, which use a process called constant voltage, constant current type charging. We're going to go through exactly how we set everything up and use a power supply to actually charge a battery. Now, it's not really recommended to go and use a power supply to charge a battery pack, but for means of explaining how all of this kind of fits together, this is what we're doing here in this video. Now, I do have to say that one of the big things about this, what we're going to be using here today, is that there's obviously no safety features alongside this power supply that's going to help protect your battery. This particular power supply and most general power supplies don't know anything about the actual battery pack. So it's really important that we get all of our specifications here correct. Now, let's talk about exactly how this constant current, constant voltage works. I'll throw a diagram up on the screen here so that we can see exactly how it plays out. Now, the biggest thing here for us is that when we charge a battery pack, we're selecting the cell count that we are going to charge, and we are selecting the current that we're going to charge. Now, depending on the battery that you choose, we're going to be going through and charging up this particular 4.1 amp hour battery pack here. It's 4,100 milliamp hour, and most of the time, the general safe charge rate to use is 1C, which is going to be a rate of 4.1 amps, and that corresponds to the capacity of the battery pack. Now, when we charge at that rate, we're going to need to set our power supply so that it hits a maximum of 4.1 amps. That's important to note. Now, because we do know it's a 4S battery pack, we need to calculate the maximum amount of voltage that we're going to see, and then we can go through these steps again when we actually set it up in the power supply itself. When it comes to the voltage, we know that 4.2 volts is the maximum per cell on a lithium polymer battery pack. And what we can do here is multiply that by the total count of cells, and we're gonna get 16.8 volts. So now that we have those two maximums, we can go and punch them into our power supply and go through that process again, just to make sure that all of this is quite clear. Now, when it comes to the actual charging process, what we're gonna see is that we're gonna get into a constant current type charging phase first. Once we initiate the charge, the charger would otherwise make certain that everything is okay. Okay. Once it establishes everything is okay, then it's going to run at that constant current value, which is essentially going to be on our power supply, the maximum current that we're going to use. And this is going to be 4.1 amps. So we're going to see 4.1 amps, and we're going to also see that the voltage is going to slowly increase over time. And then once that voltage hits the maximum allowable voltage, this is going to correspond to our maximum cell count voltage of 4.2 volts per cell, 16.8 volts for the total pack. This this is where we hit that maximum and the current begins to drop. Now, as that current begins to drop, we're going to approach the value of zero. Now, it literally wouldn't make sense to watch our power supply in this demonstration go down to zero amps. And the reason behind that is because at a very slow charge rate, we're gonna get a very small amount of milliamp hour capacity entering the battery pack. So typically what most chargers do is they will terminate the charge at around that one tenth of the capacity. For us, about four amp hour is gonna equal about 400 milliamps of charge. We're gonna go and terminate our charge at that rate. Let's get into it and see exactly how our setup is gonna look and then begin to charge our battery pack using that power supply. Here we have everything set up and wired for our new power supply to be able to charge our battery pack. Now I've done a couple things. What I've done is I've wired up our power supply to the factory adapter that it comes with. That just plugs in USB-C into the back part, into the back port here. And you can see the voltage there just under 20 volts right from the factory. And we have this going directly into our battery pack. So this is going to charge this pulse battery, which 
which is going to be a 4S 4.1 amp hour battery pack. Now, obviously the power supply here does not come with a balance tap, a balancer. So what we've done instead is run off of an external, a standalone balancer. And we can of course fire this up and take a look at what we're dealing with there. And I'm gonna do this when we also charge the pack as well, because this is gonna realize that it's balanced, it's gonna shut off, that's okay. A couple things that we need to do with this unit is set the voltage and set the current. Because we know we're going to be using constant current and then turning that into constant voltage we need to set maximums here this is the absolute maximums we want to make sure that we get this absolutely dead nuts correct because without it being perfect it can cause damage to our battery so we need to know what we're doing in order to prevent that from happening so what we need to know is the maximum voltage that we want to charge this pack up to we know that these lithium polymer battery packs are 4.2 volts per cell and nominal 3.7 volts per cell so we're looking at 16.8 to set the voltage to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go over to that first digit, make it a one, go to the next digit, make that a six, and then go to that third digit and make that an eight. Now the next thing that we need to do is set the absolute maximum charge rate that we wanna use. And what we're gonna do there is use one C, we're gonna go with the 4.1 amp hour because this is a 4100 milliamp hour battery pack. So our I set is going to go to the 4.1 we can go in here and we can go to that first character we're gonna adjust that to a 4 and then we're gonna go to the next one we're gonna add in the one there and that should work quite well so now that we got that set for our voltage and we got also the I set. This is our maximum current. This is gonna work because essentially what's gonna happen is it's gonna drive the current up to a maximum of 4.1, but the voltage is not gonna be able to hit anything close to the 16.8 right away. We're gonna be somewhere probably around 15.8 or so, 15.9, when it actually starts to initiate the charge, meaning that the I set is gonna hold its value. We're gonna enter into that constant current. Then once the voltage comes up, just like a typical charge cycle, we're gonna hit the 16.8, and because that's a maximum, it's gonna force the I set value to start to drop. So the I set is 4.1, but it's gonna start to drop off because the voltage set is gonna take over. And that's the two things, constant current. So the current is constant until it finally hits that maximum 16.8, then the voltage is constant, and then the charge terminates once the current goes to zero. If you follow it along on a charger that you've used before, you're gonna see the exact same thing actually happening there. This is exactly what the chargers are essentially doing. So now that we have all this set, what I wanna do is I wanna turn it on and then we're gonna turn on our balance tap just to make sure that everything is okay there. Then I'm gonna speed up the video so that we don't need to watch this, but you're gonna be able to see it go through its complete cycle during this time. So here we go, we're gonna go through, power it on. Now that it's on, we start to see the voltage coming up. I was expecting it to be a little bit higher than that, 15.5 more so around 15.8, but either way, what we can do is we can get the balance tap here. It does say it's balanced. I'm gonna just make sure, take a look at that. We got 388, 387, 388, 387. So looking pretty good. What we'll do here is we'll go through and take a look at cell balancer and just initiate this again. It says unbalanced. And now we're gonna start to balance that cell count there, our 4S, we got 389, 390. So cell one is the one that's a little bit higher than the others. So that's gonna go through its process. And from here, I'm gonna go and speed up the video until we get to that conclusion, which is going to be when the charge rate is at zero. And here we are fast forwarding the video so that we can take a look at it, ramp up the voltage. We hit that maximum voltage at 16.80 volts and that's gonna be about 4.20 volts per cell across the board. You can see that right from our balancer. And from there, what's gonna happen is our current settles in and down to zero. And once it hits zero, now we've reached the termination point of this charge cycle and we've fully and completely charged up our battery pack up to its maximum voltage. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. I hope you learned something about the charging process of a lithium polymer battery pack. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.